you're ready to create something new and you have a passion in your heart for it, you know that it's in line with your purpose and you want to remember that you're going to need the strength of momentum to keep going as you maneuver and shift into that place. And so I want to talk about that today, right? So even though you're so successful and high achieving, and you're now in this brilliant space of discovering that you want to make a lane change, you're super fired up, you're super passionate, you're getting out of bed in the morning with complete enthusiasm, right? We're not making excuses anymore. And, and so you've been there, you've done successful steps in your life, right? But we forget that it takes some momentum. And so in this month of talking about reaching, right, I've been talking a lot about rungs today, we're going to go back to our childhood, which is a drawback to the last time that we did a theme on wild, right, stepping into this beautiful lawlessness that we are kind of wired with, where we can kind of get away from this sense of freedom that we're actually really wired with as children. And so today we're going to kind of hark back to that same idea here in a second. So what I really love to do is I'm Jen and my business is Laughing Lotus Wellness. And what I love to do is support women through transformational purpose coaching into that place of clarity and the next right step and the next right step and the next right step. So a lot of the women that I work with are feeling like they need to change lanes in their career or in their business and they're just not exactly sure how and there's a lot of fear about making those changes. And they come in and we work together to get clarity about what that looks like, how we're gonna do it. And so I like this work is, is my soul, it sets me on fire. And so what we want to talk about today, through all of the years of experience that I've had in the clinical field and providing psychotherapy, one of the things that I find is that as people do their work, it's like it gets a momentum and a rhythm. Does that make sense? So today we're going to talk about reaching for momentum. Okay, so if we have that wrong idea, but I want you to go back even further to your childhood. And do you remember the monkey bars at school and how you would have your hand on one rung and then you would swing out and grab on the other and then we'd swing again, right? So you get the idea that there was this beautiful momentum and rhythm. And so typically what happens is we, we need to start the journey, get the fire going, right? And then stoke the fire to keep it going. So we need to have this sense of, resilience and momentum and movement. And once it's kind of going, it almost gets a life of its own. Do you know what I'm talking about if you had this journey? So I want to remind you that as you do this momentum building journey, as you reach, right, as you reach further to climb higher, to have a plan in place, what are the steps? Because I think that one of the things that can happen that I see people do is they can get really overwhelmed and want to kind of try to bite off more than they can chew really early on in a journey. And so in therapy, one of the things I would commonly say to people is, you know, give yourself permission to understand that this is going to be a process. And if you come in here and you think that it's going to be a straight line of success through every single thing we're going to do and all the changes you want to make, you're going to be so frustrated. And so I really gave them this really authentic like lay of the land, like just understand that it's going to look a lot like this, that we're going to make some strides, then we're going to take a step back, then we're going to make some strides, and we're going to take a step back because that's human. And that's the way that we create lasting change. This is true as well of any journey where you're reaching to expand yourself, to grow and get higher on whatever ladder it is that you're working to climb, you're gonna have to give yourself space, right? To really grow into that. And so I want you to imagine as you're embarking in this journey is how can I give myself the space to have the vision of the next right step and the next right step and the next right step. What momentum do I need to build to reach and grab on the next rung of that monkey bar, right? And so we wanna imagine that that's how it works. So what's going to help with that? And like I said, for me, it's having a plan. It's laying out this forward version of where we're gonna go that has some structure to it. It doesn't mean we're committing to this one size fits all plan, but rather we sit down for ourselves and we say, okay, if I wanna reach for this next thing, what am I gonna need 
and what do the steps look like that I might take next? And then give yourself permission to grow into it. You know, I have clients that want to do things and then they get instantly overwhelmed. Like they're like, I really want to open up this kind of a thing. And they're like, I don't know how to do it. It's too much. And I'm like, okay, but where would you start? Right? What do you need first? Well, I'm going to need money. Okay. Where do we get money? Right? So we literally break it really like super down. Like, okay, I would need money for that. Okay, so cool. So where would you get that? Well, I have some savings. Okay, cool. Or where, where could I go to get a business loan? Right? So we talk about that. So there's a lot of this intricacy of, of navigating rather than just going, well, I, that's, I'm screwed. Right? I swung once and maybe I didn't make it. I don't give myself permission to come back, rearrange, and go in again. So I really want you to grow this strength of resilience, this idea that you're going to have to have this sense of momentum moving forward and that it's going to take on a life of its own after a little bit. But in the beginning, it might look a little bit like fits and starts. We might reach for the rung and kind of slip off. We might have to reach again. We use our supports, right? We talked about what's in that rung that's going to help us get to the next level. But I really want you to think about this as like, what's the next right step and the next right step and the next right step? Because if we go in and we go, this is too much, I give up your host. I mean, there's nowhere to go from there, right? I mean, like you can feel it. Like once we're defeated and we're like, oh, well, okay. And if I'm just hanging there, how long am I going to hang on the monkey bars? Not long. I'm going to fall off. I've got to keep going to get to the other side, right? Or I've got to keep climbing to get the top of the ladder. So we have to think that we're going to need momentum for that. And I want you to just do next right step, next right step, next right step. And I want you to grow momentum. So I want you to think about how can I start doing things one step at a time and, and then not stay there because it's like, oh, I'm here, right? If there's a security, like I'm here, but you got to keep going because if you've got a big vision and big impact you want to leave, you can't stop partway through. So there is a strength of resilience that's going to help the momentum keep going. And I know that you're made of that. You want to create something that you love. You have a big vision. You've got huge legacy that you want to create. You're going to need that momentum. And so I want to really inspire you to just imagine that as you do this journey to really fuel yourself with that support and love and light that you're going to need to be able to go from one thing to the next, but to know that there's momentum there to know that continuing to put one foot in front of the other and have a little bit of a plan in place is going to be one of the biggest tools that you can use. Because if you're willy nilly doing it, you're not going to get where you want to go. You have to have a bit of a vision. And by a vision, I mean, what's the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So if I only have one big, bold vision, and I'm like, I want to be talking on stage to millions of women. Okay, that's awesome. I don't go from doing videos at home to just stepping into a stage for a million women. I, there's like lots of steps in between there, right? So what do I need to do? And then I start tackling that a little bit at a time, right? This is what we want to talk about. And so for you, I would love for you to say to me, right? So you need momentum, right? We have this idea. We want to like, okay, reach for the momentum one rung at a time right? One rung at a time. What's the plan? What's the next right step? In the comments, what's the next right step to build the momentum? What's your big vision if you're willing to share? And then what's the next right step? And maybe one or two after that. So maybe you can list one to three steps, a little, little, little thing, another little thing, another little thing, and it kind of in an order so that you kind of know where you're going, right? It's like, it's like, you would not go on a, on a road trip somewhere you'd never been without a map, right? So same idea here. So we want to harness that idea. So I would love for you to share for me in the comments below, what's the next right step, the next right step. Talk to me a little bit about your plan, right? We want you to know there's going to be momentum. You're going to get moving. And once you get moving, it's a little easier to go, right? It's the going, it's the starting, it's that beginning. So I really want you to get that journey mo moving and I want you to know what the right steps are. Comment below. Okay. If this was helpful at all, I want to invite you to head over to my website, it's laughinglotuswellness.com. Again, that's laughinglotuswellness.com. And I have a page specifically called Purpose Tools. You can go click on that. And it's literally all of my coaching 
videos, literally, like a whole library of free coaching. So if this was helpful to you and you want a little motivation, some inspiration, some ways to think about things, some tasks you could do, I have some exercises from time to time in there that I do that are like yogic base or breath work or meditation. Uh, I just did a tapping a little exercise not long ago. Um, all of that stuff is accessible in that page on my website. So I would invite you to go check out that nice library that I've created for you. Um, so until next time, blessings, love and light from Jen. Uh, love, love, love supporting you to rise on your path of purpose. Now let's work on that momentum to getting you to where you want to go. We'll see you next time.